So you finally bagged yourself that big buck, got it home, and processed the meat out? We're going to show you what to do next. Thanks for joining us. For this recipe, you're going to want about four pounds of venison that you can trim out into stew meat and grind up, a couple green bell peppers, a large Spanish onion, a plebano and serrano pepper. For the seasoning, we're going to combine two tablespoons of chili powder a tablespoon of garlic powder, a tablespoon of cumin, a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a teaspoon of kosher salt, and a half teaspoon of black pepper. Just want to mix those up, then we're going to season our ground meat before we cook it. But first, we have to trim and grind our meats. Just like when we made burger, we're just going to take out big pieces and little pieces. And you're going to trim off the fat and anything you don't want to deal with. We're just taking our meat, trimming off the connective tissue and fat, just getting rid of anything we wouldn't want to eat like usual. Once you have a piece of meat mostly cleaned up, you're just going to go ahead and trim it out. Just like we did for making burger, you're going to want some bigger 2 inch pieces, and then you're going to want some smaller 1 inch pieces, and then anything that's basically just scrap, you know, stringy stuff, we're going to grind up to make about a pound of burger. So, you know, 1 inch pieces, 2 inch pieces, and just scrap. So there we have our three piles of meat, our two inch, our one inch, and the stuff we're going to grind up. You know, we got a pound here, a pound here, and two pounds here. So let's go ahead and fire up the grinder. So there we've got our ground venison, our large chunks of venison, and our small chunks of venison. We're going to go to the stove and use a pan to put a sear on the chunks of venison and then brown the ground venison with the chili seasoning. We're going to start by searing some of these smaller pieces. You're not trying to cook them, you're just trying to get a light sear on the outside so they'll hold the juices in. I like doing this with my fingers because you can tell if your meat's getting too hot because you won't be able to flip it. So that's what you're looking for right there, just the soft crust on the outside. And once it all has that, you can go ahead and dump that in the slow cooker and switch over to the bigger pieces. We're searing the chunks so it seals the juice in so they don't just result in mush in the chili. I don't put beans in my chili, I just use peppers and meat. And so we use bigger chunks of meat to give it different consistency. And once that's seared up, you can go ahead and put it in the slow cooker with the smaller pieces. To start cooking the burger up, I've put a little bit of water in the bottom of the pan. Now we're going to add the burger. 
And while it's cooking, you're going to add that chili seasoning. You just want to really mix it in there good with that venison burger while it's cooking. We make fresh ground venison for this instead of using the pork ground venison I make. Because I like my venison chili to be all venison. Just venison and peppers and spices. And remember, we're not cooking this either. We're just combining the seasoning to it and browning it a little bit. You know, searing the burger before we put it in that pot. If it's starting to cook, you need to take it off. Oh, that's looking to smelling great. Once it starts smelling, you pretty much know it's time. So we're going to pull this off, put it in the slow cooker, turn the slow cooker on. This is the slow cooker. All our other meats are in. We're going to go ahead and turn it to high. And then add that ground venison burger. Just add that seasoned ground venison burger with the chili seasoning on top of all that chunky meat. When that's starting to cook in the slow cooker, we're going to chop up our peppers. Once you've washed and dried your cutting board and washed your peppers, it's time to get into them. We're going to start with the green bell peppers. And just slice off the bells on the outside. You take out the seeds and the white part because that's where the bitterness and heat comes from. Unless you like your peppers to be bitter and hot. You're just cutting like french fry sticks. And then once you got a bunch of those, you line them up and you just... For our two fancy peppers, we're just going to go ahead and take the tops off and then split the sides. As you can see, there's our problem right there. That's it. Once we pull that out, we can just take our knife and come right up in here and cut out that white part and the seeds. So basically we do the same thing with the other one. We cut off the top. Cut off the pointy bottom and split it. And as you peel it open, you see the seed core? You're just going to go ahead and coax it out of there with your knife. Now you've got both kinds of peppers de seeded and cored. Go ahead and stack them a little, slice them long ways. Turn them around, make them uniform, and then this is where you dice. There we go, we're going to dice our way back through that pile one more time. There's our pile of peppers, we're going to take over to the slow cooker. I'm going to keep the root, cut off the stem. And a half it. You should get all that skin off. Ugh, that was not the idea. There we go, just dice through the onions a couple times, make sure they're all broken up good. And that's going to join the peppers in the slow cooker. Alright. Now you just need to mix that all together. Your peppers and your meat. And your onions. Once it's well combined, put the lid back on it. After a couple hours on high heat. Give it a stir, make sure your meat's all cooked, then turn it to low and let it sit for another couple hours. Alright, it's been a few hours, let's just give it a stir. Oh yeah, that looks great. Everything's combined. Take it, put it over some cheddar cheese and sour cream. Oh man, that's good. Well, let me try one of these chunks. Oh, right, tender, delicious. Not too spicy, but lots of pepper flavor. 
You know, if you like this one, give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe down there somewhere. Thanks for joining us. It's been MI Adventure Life. Field to table. Thanks, guys.